What is up, my legends? It's your boy, The Concise King. Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. I'm keeping it short, sweet, and concise because what other way? For today's video, I have here three Bangalore must-have items that you need to have in your backpack, in your kit, when you are playing and wielding Bangalore, who to me seems to be a legend that is always, and I mean constantly fluctuating between an A and a C tier from season to season, and that could be used to possibly more potential coming to her kit in the future. Right now, she is kind of one of the most most well-balanced legends in the games but she's not played much she's not used as much as she actually could be it's almost like when we're using her we're taking a chance on her kind of like a crypto which actually calls for her to jump between tiers there could be some work done on her ultimate but I digress these three must-have items is actually gonna be more fun for you to play Bangalore if you are not getting into her it's going to put kills and knocks right in front of your face the idea for you is to test yourself as to how you can follow through and how you can take advantage of these three most important must-haves when it comes to playing Bangalore. It's your boy, Deacon Size King. If you're new around the channel, go ahead and check out the channel. Consider smacking the heck out of that subscribe button as I make weekly Apex Legends content like this. News, guides, breakdowns, whatever you want, I probably have it up on my channel and one of my playlists right now. As well as, you should probably join us for our weekly Apex Legends giveaway that we do every week of 2,000 Apex Legends coin and turn my Apex Legends trivia. Can you do it? I don't know. You have yet to come to a stream, but I hope to see you there. Let's get to this video. So we start with Bangalore. Like I said, she's one of the better offensive legends in the games, but she's not played and used as much. She's actually pretty unloved. Considering a legend who already has an heirloom, nobody's still kind of checking for her, at least from time to time. The idea is that she has the smoke launcher, which is a cool and a very powerful tool for her. Now I think the first thing we're gonna start with here, the first must have item that you need to have in your backpack or on your gun in this sense, is a digital threat. Digital threats are the key to playing a Bangalore. It's actually why you should be playing Bangalore. Trust me, I never play this legend until it is Replicator Day. And Replicator Day is getting a free, not so free, digital threat from that Replicator. The digital threat is going to highlight your enemies in that smoke, that very thick smoke, much like Bloodhouse Scan. But in this case, it's gonna be putting the kills right in front of you. Now, the thing to keep in mind here, I kinda had to find this for myself, you always want to keep your digital threat moving when you are aiming down the sights in your smoke. Why? Well, you need to remember you're aiming out of such a small scope so your POV is not always going to be very visible to the enemies that are in that smoke. The idea is to continue to track your enemies with the digital threat. That's it. That's really it for the digital threat. Now, if you want to go into the fire range and probably get a handle on the fire patterns and the guns that you're actually going to be using, that's a good idea. But since we're still talking about seeing through the smoke, let's talk about that second item. Did I say item? In this case, I'm in items. Now your second Bangalore must have that Bangalore should absolutely go for are grenades. But if you wanna get more specific, frag grenades. Bangalore smokes take about 23 seconds to evaporate. Now that's a lot of time to make the play happen. And if you're wise, or if you know Bangalore, you're already using Bangalore smoke to cut off your enemy's view, or you're using it to buy yourself some more time. If you are trying to push a fight forward, might I suggest smoking out your enemies and then throwing loads of grenades, and I mean as many as you can, inside of your smoke. That's an easy way for you to get a knock, let alone secure a kill. Let's think about the purpose of being in a Bangalore smoke. It disorientates your enemies. They don't know where they're moving to. They're just trying to see the light on the other side. So because of this, it's too thick of smoke to even see a frag grenade warning. And by the time that they do, they only have two seconds to evade ignition. Listen, sure, all types of grenades are gonna work by throwing this into Bangalore smoke, but I do think that Arc Stars and Thermites just clearly give away a position or the position that the grenade is actually about to detonate. It's more time for them to evade, let alone run in the opposite direction. This is going good. Let's move to the last must have. Now for our final Bangalore must-have item, we're taking a little trip to Watson's 
territory, if you kind of can catch my drift here, you need ultimate accelerants when running Bangalore. Anything that needs to improve in her kit, it may be her ultimate. It's actually not as effective as Gibraltar's defense and bombardment. Ultimate accelerants are the key for Bangalore because she has a cooldown for three minutes. Now, while her ultimate doesn't rain down quite as fast as Gibraltar's, it does, I want to say, have a lasting and much stronger slowing effect. Another disorientation of movement. It's really powerful for her, so you want to get that ultimate back as much as you can. Now, the power of an ultimate accelerant is that it is going to up a legend's cooldown on their ultimate by 35%, all except Loa. Now, in Bangalore's case, if you're letting your ultimate build, or actually in any legend's case, if you're letting it build to 74%, and then using your ultimate accelerant, you're going to be right there at a good 99, if not 100%, for your ultimate. This is a big, big, huge tip for Bangalore, and I was at first going to make this just a one, two tip video. But I actually thought of a third must-have for Bangalore because I've been using it so much in my games and I've actually been surprised at how many times I've been able to use Rolling Thunder at least three to four times in a 20-minute match. Ask me if I've secured a kill or damage from those three to four times. We don't have to talk about that. And gang, that's all we got for three Bangalore must-haves. Quick review. You want to have a digi threat. You want to have as many grenades as possible, specifically frag grenades. And last but not least, much like Watson, make sure you are grabbing those ultimate accelerants. For her cooldown, that is a total of three minutes. And if you want to be like me, or if you want to be a smart Bangalore at least, it's best to use your ultimate as frequently as possible. You can use it three to four times in a game, because I have. Once again, it's your boy, The Concise King. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure to leave a like on today's video for my like goal of 15 likes. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. I'll see you guys around the channel. I drop weekly Apex Legends content. I do weekly Apex Legends streaming. You guys know what it is. Come through on the stream. Turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss when I go live. And I'll see y'all in the next Apex Legends video and the next Apex Legends live stream. And of course, always my peeps in the Apex Legends arena. Peace.